Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my Wacom pen tablet. Depending on the tablet you purchased, the setup process should be pretty similar, but we'll have some slight variations. So there's four simple steps to getting your tablet set up and ready to use. One, download the driver. Two, install the driver. Three, allow your tablet permission to control your computer. And four, customize your tablet. First, download the driver. Go to your web browser and type in wacom.com slash drivers. Once you're there, rather than typing in this box to find your specific tablet model, just scroll down to the bottom and click one of these two options down here. If you have a Mac, click this one. If you have a PC, click this one. As you can see, when I go to confirm the download, it gives me a list of proper instructions on how to set up my tablet. Second, now that the driver is downloaded, you need to double click on the icon and follow the prompts to complete the installation. Once it's installed, you may need to restart your computer to finalize the installation process. Now to step three, you need to give your tablet the ability to control your computer. On a Mac, open system settings, go to privacy and security, click on accessibility. If com.wicom doesn't show up on the list here, you just need to click the plus button here, find it and add it. Click the toggle and your tablet is set to control your machine. For the fourth and final step, you need to customize your tablet. Go to your system settings, scroll down until you see the Wacom tablet, click on it and go through the tabs to customize your tablet. Under tablet, for mine it shows the customizable buttons on the tablet. You can click on each and set it to whatever you'd like. I personally don't use these because I use my keyboard for all the shortcuts and commands that I need. Under the pen tab, you can set the pressure sensitivity. I like it to be a bit on the firm side, so that it's easier for me to get the variation I want depending on how hard I'm pressing. I keep this one right in the middle. And for the two buttons on the pen, I personally like to disable this one because I end up pressing it a lot on accident. And for the top one, as you can see, I have it set to right click. I like the right click option because it allows me to easily change the dynamics of the tool I'm using. Like if I'm using the brush tool or eraser tool, all I have to do is click the top button on my pen and I can change the settings really easily. The mapping tab just determines whether or not you're maximizing the active surface on your tablet and how much of your screen is accessible to the tablet. First, I make sure that it's in the pen mode because I'm using a pen, and then I make sure I have both drop down menus set to full. For the on screen controls tab, I just leave it alone. Well, guys, that's it for setting up your tablet. I hope this helps you to get started using yours. I'll see you in the next video.